Oh, they must have known. The rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. What about evidence? The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Ms. Rutherford, I'd like you to meet Beach Hill's epigrapher, Henrik Vanderhuhn. Is there any chance you could fly out to Washington for a couple of days? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The annual corn growers ball is just three weeks away and I'm the head of the steering committee. Besides, this whole thing has left me so out of sorts. I'm in no condition to travel. I understand, Miss Rutherford. Is there any other way you could get me some more detailed information about the jade carving? I can do better than a photo. The insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please! But I could send that to you if you'd like. Oh, that would be wonderful. How soon could you have it here? You have it tomorrow or the next day. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you will require, young lady, I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor and give them a sound thrashing. You're coming through loud and clear. Bye. What should I post here? Well, look who it is. Ready to do some memory work, Henrik? I brought you a picture. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Do you know his name? 
Pakal. Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it. I must have. But why? Oh, Pakal, what could I have meant by this? Think, Henrik, where's the carving now? I can't remember. All I need is some idea of where to look next. I'll take any scrap of memory you've got, Henrik. It's still in the museum. Why would you break into the display case and steal the carving only to leave it in the museum? To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal! Something is going on at that museum, a devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. What kind of plot? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. It was found in one of my pockets when I was brought in. Maybe that key goes to the lock where you hid the Bacall. I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Do you have anything against Joanna? Who knows? You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. Jade could have so much history. The police are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. To, to make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him? If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To replay messages, press sir. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? 
This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. As a matter of fact, I have been brushing up on my mind reading. Well, thank goodness I've got you on my side. I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I really did think we were setting you up with a nice little internship, a breather from your casework. But instead, it looks like we've fed you to the lions. Don't worry. I'm used to it by now. And after all, this situation is no more treacherous than my recent attempt at a ski vacation in Wisconsin. Anyway, about Beach Hill. I think I know what you're going to say, Nancy. Um, let me be frank. Joanna Riggs has been in the doghouse with the board for months. Her thirst for acclaim has led her to gamble the future and the reputation of Beach Hill time and again. Now that we've lost the Bacall carving, one of our most notable pieces, well, she's just got to be stopped. But with Henrik in the hospital and Joanna suspended, how can we possibly get this exhibit off the ground? Leave that to me. We'll postpone the opening if we have to. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. But, Mr. Rose, I don't think Joanna is responsible for the Bacall theft. She shouldn't be punished. She's not being punished, dear. In legal terms, we're suspending her in abundance of caution, so she won't do any more damage to Beach Hill's reputation or her own. We're counting on you to catch this thief red-handed. Ha ha. Just kidding, kiddo. If you can get the Pacal back, we'll see about giving Ms. Riggs another chance. That seems fair, doesn't it? It's a deal, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. It's locked. Looks like I need to find someone who speaks Nahuatl. Buenos dias. Have you heard? The police received an anonymous tip, and they're considering Joanna a prime suspect in the Bacall theft. They've taken her in for questioning. I called in that tip. She lied about the cinnabar, and you may not know this, but she has jeopardized the museum's finances with all of her wheeling and dealing. Why should she not be questioned? How did she jeopardize museum finances? I am not at liberty to say. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. 
I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory too. 